Nah. You need a in case the movies get insane. Nah. You need a ruby, the kind of jewelry that's from the rain. No. I just here to remind you, but never mind me, man. I'm here to remind you where you come from. All this peace retreat is lame, done. You can never get rid of me. I live in you. Live in you. Both of our five fin you. Thicker the, thicker the, thicker the plot, thicker the plot, thicker the bag. Me and my bike, and I lace and I'm beamer. I'm Brian O'Connor, I'm driving it fast. They were just hating 'cause they in the way, and I'm way up and made it. The mad, man in them bag, and I'm all in my bag. Why ain't holding a rent? Just a little merlin. Out the cutie. And I don't give a, I don't give a. Tell me why I would on the rose bar couch in my bag. Bands in my denim, denim, denim. In my denim, she was trying to. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And they will not get a chance to return. Turn this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jones, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Wish me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Gone, 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 gone. 
From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Chandler Jones in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. And they'll indeed go for it with Rosen. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Brandon Williams in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 from the 12. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Johnson. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today, fam. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And on that last drive, Went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we can give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. I think there. that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Second down, here's Rosen. He's going to air one out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They give him a gain of 37. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. To throw is Rosen. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Here's Rosen. Broken. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. J.J. Nelson, 31 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. And his kick is good. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Bash. Super toe. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Marcus Golden. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Lucky 56. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Ah! From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Flushed out right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep, J.J. Nelson. This is fielded at the 27. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles. First down with Josh Rosen. And he's going to be swallowed Robert, up. Sacked Robert. back at the 45-yard line. Detroit, Josh Detroit. Bynes coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss gun, of seven. Gun, 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 gun. On second down, Rosen. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They get 15, but they still need it a little bit more. Fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Rosen. It's caught. Nelson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. 
56. From the gun, it's Rosen. And that's caught left side. Seals Jones with it. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, 27 yards. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Dawson able to connect on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, if some guy, there will be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, Detroit, let him get Detroit. the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now a play fake here on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent Detroit. on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. And able to find Kirk complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Rosen on first and 10. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. More from the desert go on, go on. after this. Go on, go on. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ah. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. That catch good for five. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Detroit! Detroit! 
They're going on fourth down. Rosen. This is Johnson. He's got it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, and now it's first and 10. But a field goal attempt is well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Throwing now, Rosen on first down. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. In for the score. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. He sets to fire deep. He's got a man complete. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards. Now Rosen on first down. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards on the play. Gone, 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 gone. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Now it's Rosen looking, and that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Back to the Philly, here we go. They'll come out in the pistol. They go option right on second and goal. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Third and goal, Rosen. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make him punt it. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This is just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Dawson's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. Final play of the half here, it's Rosen going for the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. No, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but can I just have a sip of water real quick? Please, thank you. All right, let's go. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. 
sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this Detroit! game and Detroit! on the stat sheet as well. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Rosen to throw on third down. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first down, it's Rosen finding some room at midfield. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find right, him. Now, the Cardinals 56. on third Lucky down. 56. Two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Ah. Rosen will throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And some room to maneuver. There he goes right side. And he will score. Touchdown Cardinals. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Detroit! Detroit! Again, it's Johnson. He takes this for three to the 29. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate right, need of a conversion as they Lucky come up 56. on third down. Over, 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 over. On third down, Rosen sliding out of the pocket. He's got his man. It's Williams. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. From the shotgun, it's Rosen underneath for Johnson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Now it's Rosen finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. So what's the old expression that quarterbacks like to use when they decide to throw the football? I'm looking for either a touchdown or a check down. And he took the check down on that play, and it worked almost to perfection. They go play action here on first down. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Chandler Jones in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Trying to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Third and long here for Rosen. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Marcus Golden with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Detroit! 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 They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. Let's it go for Nelson. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And all the way down to the 29. A huge play there for Arizona. 51 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Rosen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And down inside the 15 he goes. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. Now Rosen will lead him up here to go for two. Here's Rosen to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. <laughs> now a hit and a loose football. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, <laughs> tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. They'll run it now, out of the gun. This has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. 
Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On second down, Rosen forced out to his left. Open space inside the 10. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Christian Kirk, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. To throw is Rosen. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Golden. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. He's going to let it go deep for the... And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. J.J. Nelson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Leopard! Leopard! Cut. Now Rosen. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and 10 at their own 27. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll lift a throw. Throw right side complete to Williams. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now Rosen looking to throw, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. This is caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson, 50 yards. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. Dawson tacks on the point after. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's... What's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating oh, no, something good for your team. 
Following the fumble recovery, it's Rosen escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Chandler Jones in there to pick up his second sack now go on, of the go on, afternoon. Go on, go on. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Now well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Here's Rosen, dumping it off for Johnson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Number. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Detroit. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Gun, gun. Gun, gun. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And brought Number. down, but not before they're inside the 25. And a quick slant gets exactly 10, and by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. And now it's Rosen looking. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Throwing now, Rosen on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! Ah! Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. He finds some open field here. And he loses the football a second time. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Oh, Rosen's going to throw it. And this will be caught inside the 10. What a grab. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. Powerful run. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from Yeah, him. so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Ah! Now Johnson. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully.